This video is going to be going over how to switch stick in Madden, and this will work in College Football 25 as well. If you guys are watching this video and you want to get any of my offensive or defensive ebooks, you can get access to all of that stuff by becoming a school.com community member. I'll put a link to my school site in the description below, and that's again for 10 bucks, you get access to everything over there on school, which has all my ebooks and all my updates to those ebooks. Now I wanna show you kind of a methodology, if you will, for switch sticking in this video. And we'll just kind of set some of the best audibles here. Cover six Willie, uh, DB Fire two, Edge Blitz three, and strong safety zone blitz. And let me actually see here, we're gonna go auto flip off, auto alignment to base, and option defense on conservative. I don't know if that shows up in practice mode. I don't think it does. Yeah, unfortunately it doesn't. Okay, there's a setting in your like game options menu where you can turn your switch stick delay to slight. Slight is the best setting for switch sticking. And real quick, if you don't know what switch sticking is, it's basically a, a method or a, a tool that they put in to help defense where you can switch on to anybody on the, on the field by uh, just flicking your right joystick, okay? Now we're just going to come out and double safety flip. The main reason we're doing that is just to get the safeties down in the box. And then we're going to audible um, to whatever play we want. In this case, we'll use Edge Blitz 3. Okay? So this is a methodology that you can literally apply to almost any, um, almost any defense you want. Basically, we're going, to, we're going to set up our coverage in a way that allows us to switch stick. And if you think about switch stick, what I would recommend is try to identify who are the players that you would actually want to switch stick onto. If you're in dollar, you probably want to easily be able to switch on to this weak side safety to poach crossers or to this slot corner to carry corners. Okay. So we have a poach player and a carry player. Okay. So we're going to set up our coverage in a way that allows us to do that which is going to play cover two on this right side and then cover four on this left side. So you see this is what the coverage looks like. Now, the really important thing with this is that at the snap of the ball, we have this three rec hook zone. If we switch off of him, he would basically just go back to the three rec hook. So why would we want a three rec hook on the field? Well, we really want a three rec hook. What does a three rec hook defend? A three rec hook is going to defend shallow crossing routes. And one of the most popular concepts in the game would be something like this. So if you think about this route combination and this coverage, where is the vulnerability? Well, the vulnerability is this left side seam where I can, uh, where, where the safety is. So if you just look at this real quick, you'll see how I can just throw right into that window. With switch stick, if I can anticipate that this is one of the main route combinations, and it's not just this one, but it's route combos like this, this would be the same thing that would happen if they ran verticals. Then what I can do is I can switch stick by flicking my right joystick up and to the left to give me on the safety and I can take that route away. So let's set up our DR play. And so you'll see here, okay, I recognize that there's not, oh, I'm gonna poach that crosser with the safety. Now, this literally works for almost every single meta formation in the game, as well as off meta formations. If you get any crossing route from this bunch side, you don't have to take this three rec out of the field and allow them to throw this drag. What you can do is you can switch on to this quarter. So you see here at this point, I see this combo. I switch to him and look at what I'm able to do with my coverage. I'm able to poach and basically match and carry any crosser that I see, which is super important because I don't have to use crossmen. I can just poach whatever one I see. Okay. Let's go over another play that this applies to. So another play that this would apply to, as I said, is the play verticals. So one of the hardest routes to defend in verticals, in my opinion, is this crosser. And if I take my user and run with the crosser, it opens up the running back. 
So if we go back to that original thing that I just explained, and I'll just set the coverage up here, you're going to see that the snap of the ball, I'm going to recognize, oh, this guy's going across. I'll switch stick to the safety, and now I want you to see what this coverage does. Now, I know I had the wheel route late. That's a really tough throw to make. But watch what my what I'm doing with my users. I'm reading. Is anyone going across the field deep? Okay, this this guy is. This guy is. I'm automatically switching here, and now look at that three wreck able to defend the running back and the hard flat able to defend it, or the vert hook. Well, you see, we're able to stop one of the best plays in the game. Now, I also talked about the importance of having switch stick. For let's say they run like a flood play like this. This is a very popular play. It's been a very popular route combo for a long time. This coverage is also going to do a really good job at defending this because my user is in this three rack hook. And so when I see that nobody runs across, now I want to switch onto this vert hook and carry anything. So you'll see how this kind of works but I'm running into coverage. I see, oh, nobody's running across. I switch stick to the right and I can carry this corner route and make sure that that's taken away. And if I really wanted to, I could switch stick onto the soft squat. But if you look at this here, you see, I, I recognize, okay, this is taken away. These two guys go to the right side. At this point, I need to get off of him so he can go play that thing in the middle of the field. And I can switch here and I'm a little late, but you see how I can kind of catch up. And if I wanted to, I could also switch on to this guy and really carry this a little bit better. So this is how you can use switch stick to stop a lot of different things out of the same coverage. You want to build a coverage in a way that when you switch stick, it allows you to stop a lot of things. Another great example is another popular play in this game, Smash Return. Smash Return is one of the most popular plays uh, from Bunch and has been for a while. So we're gonna use that same exact coverage. And what you're gonna see here is remember, I'm in a three rec. And so what's, what am I really looking for? I'm looking if anything is crossing the field. Well, at the snap of the ball, I'm gonna notice the tight end goes and then I can see I can switch stick. Now I actually did not switch stick onto the right guy there. So let me actually show you that one more time. And typically in bunch, if you're this is another big tip that I think would help and has helped me a lot. Pre-snap, understand who do you want to switch stick to? And then you can kind of like preset it. So like I know I want to switch stick to the safety then I know if I'm going to switch stick, I'm going up and to the left, right? So we'll take a look here again. So here you see I recognize smash return. Okay, now I can take this right here and then notice what the three rex is able to do. It's able to drop over the middle. Before, this was one of the most effective plays in the game. And it's still very good, right? It's still very good. But I'm able to take that away. If they, if they really want to throw something, they can throw this tight in uh, super early. But this is really good coverage. And then I'm able to, once I recognize, oh, he's not running a seam streak, he's running across the middle. See how I'm able to just switch stick to that poach safety, and I'm able to poach that crossing route coming from right to left. To me, this is such a big deal for defense, and specifically defending really the most popular formation in Madden uh, over the last little bit, which has been the gun bunch. Uh, this has been popular in Madden for literally a decade. And now you're able to play it with really basic coverage, really, really basic coverage. You see here, switch stick here, take this crosser, and then that three rec just drops over the middle of the field. So this is a little bit of an in-depth tutorial in terms of how to switch stick certain, how to, how to set your switch stick up and use different zones to do specific things. You can apply this concept to any formation in the game, and there are obviously an unlimited ways in which you can apply that idea of what do you want your user to do 
after you switch stick off of him. I want to thank you for watching the video today. And if you want to check out any of my full Madden offensive and defensive ebooks or college football, make sure you join our school community for just $10, get you access to both games and all of our ebooks over on the site.